TikTok tested grilled cheese cheeseburgers. Well, five guys grilled cheese cheeseburgers to be exact, and these are so much better at home. So let me show you how to make these ooey gooey, crispy crusted smash burger grilled cheese cheeseburgers at home. It's very rare if you ever see me in a drive-thru picking up fast food. It's just not my thing, especially when you have a Blackstone. Why the heck would I want to eat fast food when I can make everything at home and make it so much better? I saw these five guys grilled cheese cheeseburgers all over TikTok and brittle crew member Crazy Pop, I saw you make this. If you're a new Blackstone owner and you've never made a smash burger, be sure to go check out my smash burger recipe video. It tells you exactly how to make one of the best smash burgers. It's so simple, so easy, and you can prep everything the night before or in the morning, which I love come the summer barbecues and hangouts. And of course, it includes the recipe for Betty's burger sauce. This sauce is a must when it comes to not only smash burgers, but my crab cakes or dipping french fries or even some griddled veggies are great dipped in this and the kids love it. Actually, everyone loves it. I see you guys making it all over Griddle Nation and posting it, which I love, so thank you. Now into our grilled cheese cheeseburgers. I've got 80-20 ground beef, some sliced up white sweet onions, and of course, Martin's potato rolls. And as much as I love a good quality cheese, especially my Cooper Sharp cheese, when it comes to a smash burger, good old craft deluxe not the single wrap slices is a must for these so we'll start off on our blackstone on low heat and drop down a little bit of avocado oil you can use any neutral oil that you like and then drop down our onions I want these to cook on low adding just a little bit of butter for flavor and to just get my griddle surface nice and buttery when it comes to smashing our burgers using tongs or spatula get those onions all mixed within that oil and that butter let them just hang out do their thing for a couple minutes now I don't like my onions too softened when it comes to my burgers I like a little bit of crunch still so I don't want to let these go for too long when it comes to my smash burgers I like to season them with a mixture of salt pepper garlic powder and onion powder for every one teaspoon of each salt and black pepper I add half a teaspoon of garlic powder and onion powder we'll use this blend to season up our onions allowing them to go just for another minute or so and then I'm gonna add Add a pinch of some brown sugar along with some Worcestershire sauce. Give that a toss, let them cook for just another minute or so, and then I'm gonna pull these off. Now, if you want yours, again, nice and tender and really caramelized, just let them go longer on low heat. For our ground beef, we're going to separate this pound into three big fat burgers. Gently using our hands to just roll these into balls without really smushing together that ground beef, keeping it very loosely packed. Now I'm turning up my two right burners to high heat and we'll drop down our burger patty. This we want to cook on high heat. Using a piece of parchment paper and our burger smasher, we're gonna give this a smash down, kind of smearing it around in a circle to really seal those edges, holding down for 10 seconds. This is going to create the most beautiful crust. This way, as our burger cooks, all of its juices start to cook upwards, keeping our patty nice and juicy instead of our juices cooking out of our burger. But I know a lot of people who have never made them believe that they're gonna be dry by smashing them, but this is exactly why they are not. Now you can see the edges of this burger starting to change color. You can see a little bit of that crust that's formed underneath. And again, along with all those juices rising to the top of our burger. Once you see a good amount of color, you want to flip these. But first, we've got to season them up with our salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder blend. Then using a scraper or a spatula, you want to slide under this burger completely so that you are peeling all of that crust up off of your griddle surface. Giving it a flip, you can see just 
how gorgeous of a crust that you have just created. Now we want to immediately top this off with a slice of our Kraft Deluxe cheese along with a pile of those beautiful onions that we cooked down. We've got to move fast so over to our potato rolls we've got to do a super thin schmear of our Duke's mayo. Duke's only because it's got that twang. And then mayo side down they go on to the griddle to toast. Make sure that you are doing this on the left side of your griddle otherwise your buns will toast too fast. And since this is a grilled cheese, we are going to top each of these halves with another slice of cheese. Placing our burger on top of one half and then sandwiching this together and allowing it to flip back and forth until it's toasty on the outside to your liking, which my first burger is going straight to me and I like it extra toasty. And then I'm just going to repeat the process because at this point my family has been smelling what I'm cooking outside. So I'm going to make one without onions, of course, for Kira. And then We'll make a third with our onions. I love the way that this looks on the Blackstone griddle. As it's cooking, those onions heat up and add so much flavor to this. The cheese is the perfect melty cheese. As terrible as this cheese probably is for you, but the crust created on these smash burgers are so good. And I love the extra cheesiness of this way of making a Five Guys grilled cheese, cheeseburger, and of course, whether in or alongside, I've got to have some good pickles with any good burger, but it wouldn't be complete or mine if I didn't top it off with burger sauce. This is a must for me. It goes on all of my burgers and so many more griddled goodies off of the Blackstone. Try it on a griddled chicken sandwich. You'll just love it or dip your fries in it. It's so delicious. And again, you can find the full recipe for this up on the Blackstone products website and watch the how-to in the smash burger video. But this one is a grilled cheese cheeseburger and it's definitely one of my new favorites and I cannot wait to make it again and I know you guys in Griddle Nation are gonna love it just as much so go make it post a picture and share it tag me Blackstone Betty tag Blackstone products we cannot wait to see until next time I'm Blackstone Betty and I will see you guys in the next video